Okay, cool. Uh, hi, uh, I am Ayush, and along with me is Ishita, and we are chief editors of Insight, which is the official student media body at IIT Bombay. So, Professor Madhu Belur, who is a professor here at IIT Bombay in the Electrical Engineering Department, will join us soon to answer all your queries about the prep courses program that we have here. Thanks for joining, and we'll be starting soon. Hello. Yeah, hello. This is Madhu Belur. Hi, sir. Yeah, we can hear you now. Uh, are we good to go? Yeah, yeah. Just before that, I wanted to inform everyone that we are yeah. recording this session since uh, may, many people may not be able to join. So what we will do is we'll record this session and upload it on our YouTube channel, which is called IIT BBC later so that other people can refer to it. I hope that's all right with everyone present here. If there's any problems, please let us know. And we are recording this session going forward. All right, I think with that out of the way, we can start. So, uh, we will keep this as a 30, 40 minute session and I think Professor Madhu can first brief us about the program and how it is being run currently at IITs. And then we can take questions in the remaining 15, 20 minutes. Does that seem fine, sir? Hello? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am able to uh, uh, speak now. Uh, can I request also that the organizers from inside Ayush and Ishita announce what the YouTube channel is so that the attendees yeah. know where to look? Yes, I was yeah, so we'll put the name of the channel in the chat. It's IIT. It's called IIT. Yeah, it's called IIT BBC. IIT Bombay Broadcasting Channel. Okay. Um... Uh, I thank the organizers uh, for uh, this opportunity uh, to speak about the preparatory course. I have collected a few points. It will not take more than five minutes for me to just tell about these points, after which we have time for questions and answers. And we expect that this video will be, this session will be for about 30 minutes, including the questions and answers. Yeah. So let me introduce myself. I am Madhu Belur. I used to be the faculty advisor for uh, preparatory course students two years ago. And I thank Insight IIT Bombay for this session. So I uh, presume that the recording is being done with everybody's consent. And important, I would like to tell that this particular opinion, advice that I'm giving is in my personal capacity only. I'm no longer the faculty advisor because every two, three years, the institute uh, uh, has a policy of changing and bringing new people into this particular role. So I am not the faculty advisor currently. Uh, if people prefer that I tell something in Hindi, kindly write in the chat. We can also certainly have many sentences in Hindi. Uh, jo main abhi advice de hon, jo opinion de hon, ye mere apne advisors hai. मैं अभी फैकल्टी एडवाइजर नहीं हूं प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स का दो साल पहले आईटी बॉम्बे में मैं फैकल्टी एडवाइजर था एवरीबॉडी शुड लिसन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पीपल्स ओपिनियंस एडवाइजर्स बट ईच वन हैज टू डिसाइड वन सेल्फ नोबडी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू टेक एनी ऑफ आवर सजेशंस एज द बेस्ट सजेशन प्लीज डिसाइड योरसेल्फ अपना अपना ही डिसाइड करना हर एक को जो सा जो होता है उनका एक बिजनेस रूल होता है 
so the rules are all carefully written in the rules. So right now, a little later, I will show you a screenshot which I have from 21 Rosa Business join a joining institute now which is like a host institute but you will join first year undergraduate next So I think your voice cut out for a minute. Uh, Could you just repeat? I will repeat the last sentence. Yes, yeah, the host yes, sir, institute. Hello. Yeah. So, um, sorry for uh, cutting out. So, you see, if somebody gets a preparatory course rank now, and if you get allocated a particular seat, then you will join a host institute. Why there is a host institute? I will repeat very soon. So, host institute you will join now for one year, but you will join the first year undergraduate in some of the nearby IITs next year in July 2025. So as we speak in July 2024, because you appeared, you did well in JE Advanced now, you will get allocated a seat. For example, let us take you will, you have got allocated the seat IIT Dharwad Computer Science based on your rank, based on your preparatory rank, of course. So you will join IIT Dharwad Computer Science in July 2025. But you will join a host institute, let's say IIT Bombay, only for one year. So this preparatory course is hosted by an institute for a few, three, four institutes together. Why that is the case? Because three, four institutes together, you will make up 40 students. Typically, a good class size, let's say, is between 30 to 40 students. So it is awkward to have one instructor for just five to 10 students. So three, four IITs will together collect all the preparatory course students and there will be one host institute for three, four neighboring IITs. It is helpful to be neighboring IIT, but that is not, that's not a, that's not a compulsion. So in 2021, for example, IIT Bombay was a host institute for not just IIT Bombay, but also Dharwad, Goa, Gandhinagar. So students who have got allocated based on the preparatory course rank to any of these four IITs, will all report at IIT Bombay. This was the case few years ago. I'm taking as an example. Then they do preparatory course together with Goa, Gandhinagar and Dharwad and Bombay students for one year. And after completing one year, after they qualify, subject to them qualifying for this one year, then they will go and join the institute for which the seat is already allocated now yeah is the uh, is that part clear that you get allocated a seat now but you will join that institute next year so there is no change of branch that is possible at the end of this one this one year you do very well of course it will help in future to excel in this rather than just qualify everybody should excel in this one year 
Why? Because you will do even better when you join the institute next year as first year undergraduate. So while the rules require you to just qualify at the end of this one year for, from the preparatory course, if you do very well, it only helps later when you join first year undergraduate program in July 2025. Okay, so now um, let me come back to what points we have here. Uh, so it is important to note that for this one year, there is no guarantee that you will qualify. So you are not really a student of that institute. You will get all benefits, of course, hostel, messing, everything. But in case you do not qualify, there is no second chance or a re-exam. You will just disqualify and end up losing that seat that was allotted to you now. So please note that in that sense, you're not a regular student yet. You qualify and then you become a regular student of that particular institute where you will join July 2025. Uh, so the joining institute now, as an example, is IT Bombay. And you will join next year a seat that is allocated to you now based on an empty seat there because the seat there was already empty. That's why the allocation was done now only. So um, doing well in the preparatory course will help you quality, will help you do better in your first year after you join that institute to work very hard. Ask the instructors doubt right from day one. Collaborate with your friends. They'll be friends for you for one full year but they may leave and join a different institute at the end of one year. So it's important that you note that you have to qualify this one year. It's a good idea to keep a plan B option. Though very a small number of people disqualify, though it is true that no institute stands to benefit by disqualifying a person. Yeah, the institute would like to see everybody qualify, but the rule is that you have to qualify means you have to do well in Physics, English, Maths, Chemistry, all four of them. So there's no harm in filling J main application form once again, just as a backup, though it's very unlikely that you will need it based on our past experience. Very few students disqualify, but it is good to keep a plan B. And uh, while you are now at your home, you might as well start learning English. What English should you learn? Spoken English. Understanding the English that somebody speaks to you. Because the instructors will teach physics, chemistry, math, English. They will speak in English. So you might as well start preparing for understanding spoken English. So English skills are very important. Especially the listening and understanding part for the first one, two years. So you should start with that. Of course, once you join the institute, physics, chemistry, math are also important. That also you will study during your first year, during your preparatory course. So just as a last point, so for those people whose uh, annual family income is less than an amount, I think 5 lakhs, uh, there is a scholarship, government scholarship option available for which it is a good idea to make the income certificate now only and exactly which authority will make the certificate that you can check from the joining institute. But you can uh, apply now if you can and... Um, uh, okay, that, those are the points I had in mind. Please ask your questions, if any. So, for this part, I think uh, participants can raise their hands or put their doubts in the chat and we can unmute them one by one so as to have a discussion. Just to repeat in Hindi, if you have any questions about this, then you can raise your hand or write in the chat and then we will आपको अनम्यूट करने का एक्सेस दे देंगे और फिर आप क्वेश्चंस पूछ सकते हैं जस्ट वन स्मॉल देयर इज uh, there is a concern that will you be eligible for writing J again, given that you have already availed a seat from JOSA. So for that, there are rules that JOSA has whether you can keep appearing for J main if you have already availed a seat. 
there are detailed rules so from 2021 those are business rules i have extracted this one page where can i request the organizer ishita to show that particular screenshot yes so there says that uh it says that if you are eligible for writing july 2025 based on based on how many times you have appeared already etc when you finish your 12th exam based on that if you are eligible for writing july 2025 then having participated in the preparatory course does not prevent you the last point inside this particular screenshot tells that having participated whether you qualify or not having just participated in preparatory course this year does not prevent you from appearing for je main the next year but this is the rule as of 2021 so i would recommend that you can join the preparatory course and look up the josa business rules in the meantime you will have help available there might be others who also want to look up the rules and then uh, and then decide by october or so if you can uh, fill the form if you are eligible then why not so it's a good idea to look up the rules okay we'll go back to the screenshot and answer queries now so uh, i think the first question by khushi was how many students get accepted for this course all over india okay so there is no limit on the number of people um whatever seat is empty this year from any of the pwd pwd could be from either general or either open or um, obc sc st from any of these if there is a pwd seat that is empty that's empty because there are not enough people who are above the relaxed cut off if there are not enough people then those seats would go empty so rather than they go empty the preparatory rank students are allocated that seat so that number could be any it could be very large or very small depending on how many people availed the seats already so uh, depending on the large number if the numbers are too large then there might be multiple preparatory course groups from different different iits so right now there are about generally 40 students between 3 4 iits iit bombay dharwad goa and gandhinagar together there were about 40 students so that number is fixed by how many would have gone mp had we not had the preparatory course so it's not decided a priori whatever would have gone mp are filled by preparatory course students okay any other question i will request the organizers to read out the question for me because there is a power outage here in it bombay so the, i'm yes, i have limited devices to work on Uh, we hope that answers your question, Khushi. If you have a follow-up, just put it in the chat. Uh, in the meanwhile, we'll move on to the next question. So, uh, someone has asked, "Sir, I am a dropper student. Can I give JE exam again?" Uh, so JE, uh, I think JE allows somebody to appear for the exam this year. If you have appeared for twelfth now, this year, next year, and the next year. this is in my personal advisory capacity only this is what i recall um so je main you can appear i think only nit is allowed totally three attempts i think je for advanced appears only allows only two if you are appearing for 12th now this year and the next year so you can appear for je main provided those uh, eligibility criteria are satisfied for the next time so preparatory course will not by itself be a hurdle why because you have not availed really the seat you are yet to just qualify the exam yet that is why the preparatory course by itself is not a hurdle in your decision yeah but again would request you to once check uh, the yes. document the latest documents for the same pankaj it's a good idea to check the latest je business rules josa business rules yeah okay then the next question we have by prashant which says is there any online form that will be published separately or will it go with the same josa round online portal uh i have to apologize here that 
as a faculty advisor for preparatory course students we become an advisor for students who have already come into the campus for the preparatory course how exactly they came in what were the processes they followed i am not the best person because they already come to the campus and i am made available to them for asking their queries after they have come here so to the best of my understanding the josa itself further rounds will continue and allocate the seat there is no separate portal one has to go the josa portal itself will be used for allocating the seat for preparatory course student also that is my understanding and eventually whichever institute you get you will hear from them directly that you have to report to so and so institute in that example i have shown iit dharwad would send you a letter by email maybe or by uh, normal post where they will say okay you have been allocated the seat you have to now go and join iit bombay as a preparatory course student that is my understanding and uh, one should just keep looking through the josa portal only for this and we have put the link to the josa business rules in the description or my word in the chat as well please feel free to give a look after the session save that link superb superb all right i think we can move on to the next question sir i am yeah. already uh, this is by dev sir i am already a first dropper that's why i haven't filled iit step courses because i thought sir that i will have to again study pcm for one year so i got nit and left iit prep seat uh, did i make a mistake will i regret my decision of taking nit will i lose out on opportunity of iits now i am getting I, nit silcher electrical this is a very difficult question to answer different people will have different opinions many nits are very comparable to iits it is true that nit allows one more chance is my understanding iit allows only this current year if you have appeared for 12th now this year and the next year but nit is allow one more year uh but which branch which nit that is always a subjective decision you have to take a call yourself given that there are different constraints uh it is true that if you join a preparatory course you have to just study physics chemistry maths this year and again once more when you join your first year somewhere while in nit if you join you have study only for one more year this is a call you have to take i will not be able to opine on this thank you so uh, while i finish answering the question i'll just say a thank you because if i mute myself then it's hard to unmute myself again okay so i have finished answering this question all right uh, we hope that helps dev the next uh, message is by tanmay who wrote 12th eligibility criteria sc category could you uh, maybe describe what the question is since it's a bit unclear abhi tanmay kya aap uh, ek baar wapas se likh sakte apna question chat mein and we'll come back to it again तब तक प्रशांत हैज रिटन सर व्हेन व्हेन शुड वी एक्सपेक्ट दिस प्रिपरेटरी राउंड आई थिंक इट वाज अबाउट द प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स राउंड इन जोसा आई सी जनरली द प्रिपरेटरी कोर्स स्टार्ट्स जस्ट अबाउट अ वीक आफ्टर द रेगुलर क्लासेस व्हाई बिकॉज़ प्रिपरेटरी राउंड्स माइट गो अ लिटिल मोर एंड स्टूडेंट्स मे और मे नॉट जॉइन बिकॉज़ दे हैव एन अनदर एनआईटी ऑफर एट देयर हैंड्स so for these reasons preparatory course starts very soon if iit regular iit joins starts on some let's say 25th of july in a week more preparatory course will also start so uh, because exams have to happen at the same time so for these reasons it can it will happen by end of july it will finish preparatory allocation will finish by the end of july and classes will start very soon in first week of august at the latest yeah thank you Okay, then we have Pankaj's question, which says, "Sir, which chapter are teaching on preparatory courses in physics, chemistry, maths?" So once you join a preparatory course, then there will be four subjects: English, physics, chemistry, maths. 
and the respective departments will allocate an instructor. So that instructor will cover the content. You don't need to purchase books, etc. beforehand. You just join the institute and the instructor would make some uh, content available, either in PDF files or they'll arrange a printout or that library might have specific books. So there is no need to do that preparation before you join. But if you have time, then you should get used to understanding spoken English, not written English, but spoken English because you'll be sitting in the class and the instructor will speak. Uh, they may speak a little too fast than what we are used to in our, uh, in our respective places, our own accents. So that's the best thing to prepare before you come to the institute. No need to worry about physics chemistry math at this point. Okay. Thank you. Then we have Pranjal's question which says, Sir, please tell the procedure for getting a preparatory sheet. No, but if you have already appeared in JOSA and given your choices, those same choices will be considered further for preparatory seats also. They will be considered if those seats are still empty. So after we, if there is a, let's take an example again, the same example, IIT Dharawad computer science is empty after considering, suppose it is a PWD seat in OBC. Just as an example, PWD seat in OBC is empty after exhausting all the students who are above the cutoff, the relax, relaxed cutoff, then that seat would go empty and it's not allowed to transfer that seat. It has to go to exactly a OBC PWD person. So it would be allocated to someone who is having a highest preparatory rank um, and who has chosen that seat, chosen IT Narva. So there is no separate applying for those seats. Your same choices that you gave will get considered for the preparatory seats also. Thank you. All right. Then Prashant's follow-up question says, since 17 July 2024 is the last date of final round, so should we expect preparatory round after 17 July? Uh, I have not kept my, thank you for this question. I have not kept track of the dates. Um, I guess so. I think the preparatory rounds will happen very soon because the joining is typically just a week after the other students joining. The first year UG will start on some day in most IITs and within a week or so the preparatory course students would also join. So it should be happening very soon now. All right, and again, would uh, ask you to keep a track of all the official bulletins, like the one we put in the chat for information about the same. Then uh, Anjali has written, students who get IIT in preparatory courses, where do they have to report for admission? So uh, each each of the institute has its own plan about where the preparatory course students should go and report to. In that example, as I gave, Dharwad, Goa, Gandhinagar, and Bombay together had decided in 2021 that IIT Bombay would host. So if you get allocated a seat in either Goa, Gandhinagar, or Dharwad, a preparatory course seat, then that institute would ask you to report in the host institute. So you will have to wait for that call letter. As soon as you're allocated, then that call letter will tell you where to go and report. And that whole institute will change. It's like a pool of IITs who collectively decide that, okay, this year I will teach, next year you teach, next year you teach, like that. It just goes by rotation between those three, four institutes. Uh, so it'll be hard to say one answer. Every year this changes anyway. Okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. So the next question says, is there any chance to get IIT prep seat in CSAB? I don't think CSAB uh, uh, has IITs, uh, either normal or preparatory course students. CSAB is not the organizing body for uh, preparatory course also. I don't think. Thank you. All right, then Pankaj has asked, what are the preparatory course fees? Fees? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know the fees. Uh, there are some regular tuition fees and there's also uh, mess fees.
fees uh but i'm quite sure that if there is a uh, if there is a economic difficulty then each institute has its way of economically help financially helping a person pay the fees uh, and in fact as i wrote in one of the points there is also a government scheme for uh, all the uh, preparatory course students not just for scst but also for uh all uh, but category uh, pwd students to avail uh, messing facilities at government uh, uh, at government support uh, somebody had written are the exams tougher the, they are not the preparatory course is really supposed to be a between the 12th and the regular first year so it will not be tougher but one has to qualify and as i wrote the institute doesn't benefit by disqualifying a person so the institute would do its best to ensure that all the students do well in the qualifying exam and actually qualify so the institute will strive the instructors will also strive so it's not going to be um, tougher as such yeah one has to work hard and qualify them that's thank you Uh, sorry to interject, sir, but uh, I think we just have a couple of minutes left in the meeting. Uh, okay. Before we take the remaining questions in the chat, I would just like to thank everyone and especially Professor Madhu for being here and helping everyone with their queries. Yeah. Uh, so there's one question which says, "Sir, I." It's my pleasure. We can take a look. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. We'll take up as many questions as we can. So I was allocated at the Bombay Electrical Engineering Preparatory Course. So where should I join? Have you already been allocated at the Bombay Preparatory Course? Then the call letter which says so. Please uh, check the call letter and tell it in this meeting only, so that there are others who might also benefit by your answer. You can reply that to that to that in the chat. So the call letter will tell where you have to report. Yeah. Okay. Next question, please. I think we have uh, gone through all the questions. I'm sorry if I missed any. If that is the case, can you please again put your uh, questions again? Okay, we have got another question. Can ST males get seat in preparatory courses? Yes, SC, ST, and PWD of all uh, birth categories can uh, get preparatory course uh, seats, but that is provided that seat had gone empty. in the current year in the current year if a seat is going empty then it would be allocated to preparatory course students of the same eligibility criteria but the person would join that in the next year so from each of sc st and pwd of all birth categories there would be seats empty if so then the allocation will happen to the preparatory course students okay all right do we have any other questions Okay, if you have a question still remain, can you please put it in the chat? Otherwise, we'll just wrap up. So, while we are awaiting a question or more yet, let me repeat. So, most important is you start getting used to spoken English to understand English that is spoken in different different accents. Indian accents only, of course, but across India also we have a variety of accents. So, it's important that you get used to understanding. content technical content that is spoken in english and everyone we have also uh, sent some links in the chat to for you to refer to for the bulletins of jmain and the bulletins the and the business rules are put in the chat please save and bookmark those links you can find most of the information there thank you so much for your questions and your attendance